Warning. It is important that prior to performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any HAL product that the person performing the work has both read and firmly understands the parts and service manual as well as the product operator's manual, including the detailed safety instructions that accompanied this vehicle. If there is anything that is unclear or that you don't understand, do not attempt to operate the vehicle or perform any of the service or maintenance tasks called out in this video. Quarantine the area, lock out and tag out the vehicle, walk away, and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It is also important to ensure you are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru here at Heil Environmental in beautiful Fort Payne, Alabama. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. Today we're going to show you how to operate the latest feature from our Heil Environmental Engineering Team. The brand new Heil Autonomous Lift Option Controls, or HALO for short, allows you to lift, dump, and return a commercial container with one push of the button. These HALO controls can greatly increase your safety and route productivity, reduce driver's training cost, decrease maintenance and operating costs, and lower the total cost of collection for your Heil Odyssey equipped commercial half pack, all with one single joystick. To learn more about the HALO controls, visit www.heil.com. First, let's go over the buttons on your new joystick and everything they control. If you've ever run a Heil automated side loader, then you've probably already seen the green packer extend and the yellow packer retract buttons. However, the other buttons house the new semi-autonomous features. The red button at the top is your semi-autonomous lift option. This will allow you to complete a full dump cycle with one push of the button. The left gray button is your semi-autonomous work position button. Press and hold this button to automatically move the arms and forks into your preset work position. The right gray button is your semi-autonomous transit position button. Press and hold this button to automatically move the arms and forks into your preset transit position. So now that you know what each button does, let's walk through the full process that you will complete for a routine pickup. Warning: The HALO controls are programmed to only pick up ANSI compliant containers. Serious damage or injury can occur if you try to use this feature with any other containers. In case of an emergency, fully release the joystick and button to cease all operations. When you first arrive at your customer's site, press and hold the left gray semi-autonomous button to move your arms and forks into the work position. The arms will automatically lower and the forks will automatically untuck when you reach the overheight position. When you're in the work position, approach the container and fully insert the forks into the container pickup sleeves. You may have to manually level your forks and arms to line them up with the container pickup sleeves. Once the container is fully seated on the forks, place the unit into neutral, apply the parking brake, and then press and hold the red semi-autonomous button. Throttle advance will engage and the forks will tilt slightly upward to prevent the container from sliding off the forks. The arms will then raise and the forks will automatically level. Note, if the forks are not level, the arms will interlock at the over height position. The semi-autonomous process will resume when the forks are level. The forks will automatically roll into the hopper at the forks roll position. The forks will pause for a period of time then they will untuck to the forks clear position and the arms will lower. Note, you must continue holding the red semi-autonomous button to complete the dump cycle. If you release the red button for any reason, simply press and hold it to resume the semi-autonomous process. The arms and forks will automatically return to the position that the semi-autonomous lift was initiated. The forks will stop slightly higher to prevent damage to the container. Manually lower the container gently to the ground and remove the forks to complete the cycle. If you need to perform a can shake, release the red semi-autonomous button after the forks have rolled into the hopper at the forks roll position. 
Then manually roll the forks back and forth to remove any stubborn refuse that may be stuck in the container. When you have completed the can shake, press and hold the red semi-autonomous button to resume the cycle. Note, if you have your system set up with a 0 to 15 second delay for when the container is in the hopper, you will experience the same pause when you press and hold the red semi-autonomous button to resume the cycle. When your forks are clear of the container pickup sleeves, press the right gray semi-autonomous button to return to the transit position. The arms will either raise to your preset over height position or to the fully retracted position against the arm pads. This is dependent on your setup, which we will go over shortly. When you're ready to pack, press and release the green button to begin the auto pack cycle. If you need to retract the panel at any time, just press and hold the yellow button. Note, it's important to know that if you have to turn off your unit during the semi-autonomous lift cycle for any reason, then you will have to manually lower the container back to the ground before you can resume the semi-autonomous process again. Now let's go over some previously mentioned options that you can set for your Halo controls by using the Heil Insight display. First, press and hold the top right button on the display to exit the camera monitor mode and return to the Heil home screen. Then press the down arrow to access the semi-autonomous controls screen. The second from the top button on the left will adjust the amount of time the semi-autonomous lift will pause at the hopper to dump the container from 0 seconds to 15 seconds. One press of the button will add a second to the pause time. The middle button on the left will adjust the offset angle from the full tuck position of the forks from 0 degrees to 45 degrees. Each press of the button will increase the angle by 5 degrees. The second from the top button on the right will adjust the arm's transit position between the over height position or to the full up position against the arm pads. The button on the top right will adjust the work position between the following settings. No container, 4 yard container, 6 yard container, or 8 yard container. Note, your containers may not line up with our factory set calibration. If needed, recalibrate your semi-autonomous controls to your specific route requirements. To calibrate the semi-autonomous settings, follow these steps. First, press the calibration button on the monitor. Enter the password and press the OK button. After entering the password, you will enter into calibration mode and can begin the calibration process. To begin, move the arms to the full down position the forks to the full up position, and then fully retract the packer. When these are in the correct position, press the OK button. Then press OK again to zero the arm packer positions. Next, move the forks to full down position. To achieve this, you will have to raise the arm slightly so that the forks can be fully extended down without coming into contact with the ground. The minimum recommended setting is 100 degrees. When your forks are in the correct position, press the OK button. Then move the arms to your route's 4 yard container height and fork level position and press the OK button. Next, move the arms to your route 6 yard container height and forks level position and press the OK button. Then, move your arms to your route's 8 yard container height and forks level position and press the OK button. Next, move the arms to the over height position and level the forks. This position is when the fork tube is just at the top of the windshield or just above the driver's line of vision. Important, setting the forks to a level position is critical. If you go below level, a container could slide off the forks. If you go too far above level, spillage may occur. The maximum over height setting is 55 degrees and the fork's level position has to be between 100 degrees and 120 degrees. When you're in the correct position, press the OK button. Now you'll need to move the arms to the fork's roll position. 
This position is where the forks start rolling into the hopper at the last few inches of the arms up travel. The minimum setting is 75 degrees. When in the correct position, press the OK button. Then move the arms to the full up position. This position is when the arms are fully up resting against the arm pads. When you have done this, press the OK button. Next, move the packer to the full pack position. This is the end of the first stage of the telescopic packer cylinders, or 81 inches of packer travel. If the second stage is showing, retract until the second stage is collapsed. When the packer is in this position, press the OK button. Warning: Cylinder damage will occur if set incorrectly. Finally, move the packer to the travel position. This moves the packer a little further than the full pack position and will close off the body area. Once the packer is in this position, press the OK button. The next screen you will see is the home screen. This means you have completed the calibration. That's it. Now you know how to operate the Heil Autonomous Lift Option Controls. If you have any questions, contact Heil Technical Services at 866-310-4345. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can, so be safe out there and we'll see you next time here at the Service Shack.